Hello, and today I'm at York. Located pretty much at the midpoint of the East Coast Main Line. Uh, and a absolutely massive, massive, massive interchange. There's so much to see here, and I hope we're going to encapsulate it all today. Um, anyway, yes, um, York, home of York Railcam, which is somewhere on this building up here. Uh, the um, brown building, browny orangey building. That's, that is the network rail. Uh, known as the Rock, I think it's the. I, I'm not sure what Rock stands for, but um, they control pretty much the whole East Coast Main Line. Uh, so it's a very, very important point of the railway. The 1550 service from Newcastle to Liverpool to Lime Street to pass out there. Very, very, very busy service. Uh, TP cancelling a lot of trains due to a uh, shortage of train crews. So that was one of the um, few um, uh, services I've seen uh, that are doing the full route to Newcastle and Liverpool today. 37706 here, uh, which is currently stabled. I'm not too sure what it's doing or if it's even moving at all. Uh, 80109 is here uh, and is on a service going from uh, London King's Cross to Aberdeen. It's just got a bit of a layover here before it departs in approximately three minutes' time. Okay, as passing out now is going to be the 1555 LNER service going from London King's Cross to Aberdeen. The service calls at Darlington, Newcastle, uh, Berwick upon Tweed, Edinburgh, uh, if I can remember the calling points correctly, uh, then Haymarket and Vikiefen, Kirkcaldy, Lucas, Dundee, Arbroath, Montrose, Stonehaven, and Aberdeen. Uh, where I finally arrive uh, just after 9 o'clock this evening. I can hear another Azuma screeching away in the background. It's a nice shot, isn't it? Two Azumas in a row. 801 to 11, I believe, is in a uh, stopping service to London King's Cross. 801226 must be from Edinburgh, uh, which is, yep, uh, that has arrived in about a minute early. That will be going out at uh, 1557. I'm on York Rail Cam, can you find me? On platform 11? <laughs> I was guessing we're just going to spot now very shortly. Uh, it's going to be 80122. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Okay, as of uh, getting ready to point out, it's going to be the 1557 LNR service going from Edinburgh to London King's Cross, approached by 801226. As also pulling into the station now, it's going to be a uh, Northern Class 155. I believe this is on a terminating service from Blackpool North. We'll leave 801226 first, and uh, 195 is not far off. Taking it very, very easy. Um, it's a bit rainy today, so there'll be quite a lot of wheel slips, so that makes sense. And our terminating northern service from Blackpool North, as the door seals engage on that uh, 801, is going to be 195 109. The Pride of Cumbria, which is indeed where it has come from. Blackpool North Cumbria or is it Lancashire? I think it's Lancashire actually. This is one of the um, Manchester based ones. Hence the um, Northwest themed nameplates. I saw something else coming as well. We might have another thing coming as well. Oh dear, Transpennine delays. When do you not hear of those? That's why we're now is going to be a terminating northern service from Bridlington. This is going to be approached by class 155, coming into platform 1. It's not very often you see these. These are notoriously difficult to find on the network. They all seem to be down here today. This is 155341. The service is uh, come by a hole and reversed at hole.
looking very lovely there. I haven't actually seen a 155 on its own before, so that's interesting. Usually they're coupled up to a 158 or a, a one or back in the days 153s. Were they? <laughs> they were definitely coupled to 158s because I've seen that before. 150s maybe. Anyway, let's see what turns up next. There's still plenty, plenty more action to come here from York. Okay, I was supporting now one minute early. It's going to be 801 to 11. This is on the 1603 service starting here, bound for London King's Cross as the stopping service. If you're travelling on the East Coast main line between London King's Cross and York, always get this service. Um, un unless, you're <laughs> unless you're going to Grantham or Doncaster. Um, because this train is always the cheapest and it's always the least busy. The Edinburgh and Leeds service is always absolutely rammed, but go hold trains if you can because it's a good 20 quid cheaper than the linear. Travel Advice 101. This one calls at Doncaster, Retford, Newark, Northgate, Grantham, Peterborough, Stevenage, and finally London King's Cross. We're arriving to platform zero. Okay, our supporting out now is going to be the 1609 Northern Service departing outbound for Leeds via Garforth. Which is going to be 195106. You had a very nice turn there. Next up that one will be Church Fenton. You see that just in the distance? A 170 has just popped its head out and now just put its tail lights on. Um, that one, thanks to the joys of real time trains, is 17476 and that has just terminated in from Leeds via Harrogate. Also, well, quick note uh, if you do come to um, York, all the um, destination boards for trains going to Harrogate will say that the, the trains are terminating, to Bur tra terminating at Burley Park. Uh, this is the last stop before Leeds, and they do this to discourage um, passengers um, from getting on board the slow uh, services to Leeds via Harrogate. So they advertise all their stopping trains as going to Burley Park. It's a similar situation to what uh, TfL Rail do um, between Reading and Paddington, um, where they advertise um, their slow services to Paddington as terminating Ealing Broadway, or like what... Um, London Overground do at uh, Watford Junction where they advertise their slow services terminating at South Hampstead. It's very similar to all of that. Question for you uh, to put in the comments down below. Can you think of another example of that happening? Can you think of another example where a train company uh, train advertises uh, a train service differently? Uh, a slow service? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, as arriving right now is going to be the ridiculously early 1623 Grand Central service going from London King's Cross to Sunderland. This service is run direct here from London King's Cross and from here becomes a semi-fast service to Sunderland. This one I believe is 180-108. What's its nameplate? Let's see on the side. William Shakespeare. He might be on board this train. Of course, most people getting off this train here. Grand Central are also a very cheap way to get to York as well, being open access. Ah, oh, this one um, is a five car, so it's stopped right at the end of the platform. Um, this one will call at Fursk, North Allerton, Eaglescliff, Hartlepool, and Sunderland. I'm having at 18.06. I didn't realise it took a uh, good two two hours to get from York to Sunderland, apparently it does. If it's squeaky brakes, maybe it might even break down before it gets there, being on 180. Absolutely horrid things. Well, it's not very often you get that, is that? Something passing, something passing us. I was coming in now, it's going to be the 1618 cross-country service going from Bristol to, uh, sorry, Birmingham New Street to, New to Newcastle, operated by Four Car Voyager. This is 220020. -20. 
There's something right at the end uh, of the platform. Uh, apparently, drone is out of service. It is not. Oh, we've got 66587. Oh, my word. Wow. <laughs> that surprised me. 66587. 66532. <laughs> and 66416. They've just passed through out of the blue. I had absolutely no idea where they were going. <laughs> that was strange. In fact, no, I believe that is going from Tyne Sorting Sidings, just outside Newcastle, to Leeds Bomb Road uh, Freightliner Terminal. Mega convoy. Okay, as the passing out is the 1620 Transpennine Express starting here bound for Manchester Airport. This is a last minute adjustment service. One eight five one oh eight leads us one. One eight five one three five. Well done, Transpennine, for putting that service on at the very last minute uh, to relieve uh, congestion heading to Newcastle. That one will call next at Leeds, followed by Dewsbury. Huddersfield, uh, Manchester Victoria, Manchester Oxford Road, Manchester Piccadilly, Gatley, and finally Manchester Airport. Let's see when the next train turns up. Okay, our spot out now is going to be the 1623 Northern Service starting here bound for Blackpool North. This is going to be 195109 again. Making 195 noises as it leaves, as usual. That's the Pride of Cumbria coming back again, yep. I love how all the services that go to lead to subtly different... Subtly? That's not even that's it's subtly different calling points. That's one calls at Church Fenton, Crossgates, Leeds, New Pudsey, Bradford Interchange, Halifax, Sowerby Bridge, Hebden Bridge, Burnley, Manchester Road, Accrington, Blackburn, Preston, Poulton, Leifold, and finally Blackpool North. Well, it arrives at 19.05 this evening. Got 68 due now, hang on in there. As coming in now on platform 10 is going to be the 16.32 cross-country service going from Bristol Temple Mead to Glasgow Central. Again, a destination board is saying that this one is going to Edinburgh. I uh, had the same uh, thing at um, Golf of Foley, the Aberdeen trains were saying they were going to Edinburgh. This so might be going to Glasgow, I don't know. Might be going to Edinburgh, I don't know. This is 221123. With the classified first class as well on that one. Custom announcements. Usually says this is a platform alteration. There has been a platform change. Right, 68 should be departing any minute now. We'll catch it when it does. Immediately after uh, stopping that video, here, here it comes. 68033 with set number TP01 uh, running from Scarborough to Manchester, Victoria. This one has a DVT leading. Sixty-eight zero three three. It's still in DRS delivery. Name plated the Poppy, bringing up the rear. Making quite a racket as it leaves there. Next stop Leeds. Arriving in now is going to be an LNAR service uh, going from Edinburgh to London King's Cross. I believe this is the 1633 service. Yep, indeed it is. One echo one eight. Oh dear, big delay. <laughs> it's also arriving in now. It's going to be the 
16.35 LNER service going from London King's Cross to Edinburgh which is running approximately one minute early. 801 uh, 225, nice way from the driver there. Quite a busy train, a few seats available. As the cross country Voyager heads off, the Voyager is terminating at Edinburgh due to a shortage of train crew. Passing on is going to be 801 227 on the 1635, correction 1633, a linear service going from Edinburgh to London King's Cross. Calling at uh, Doncaster, Newt Northgate, Peterborough, and London Kings Cross only. Well, all former service back to Bound Screen Depot. Very lovely. 1635 is leaving for Edinburgh with the guard's door still unlocked. <laughs> that is the 1635 uh, service going from London King's Cross to Edinburgh, the door is still not unlocked. Um, <laughs> I'm sure the guard will lock it at some point. That one calls it North Allerton, oh, calls it North Allerton, North Allerton, <laughs> Norlington, Durham, Newcastle, and then direct to Edinburgh. As also arriving, and now we have a cross country Voyager. This is on the 1644, cross-country service going from Edinburgh to Bristol Temple Meads, which is an 8-car. Thank, thank you, cross-country, for actually being useful. Uh, we'll catch that one departing at that leaves in approximately 8 minutes' time. As also arriving now is the heavily delayed, uh, very heavily delayed, uh, 1607 Transpennine Express service going from Liverpool Lime Street to Newcastle, operated by Class 802. Nice way from the driver there, 802202. Sparking very nicely, that. <laughs> yes, this service is running approximately 30 minutes late uh, due to a um, points failure, not too sure where, uh, but it caused the service to depart from the Lime Street uh, 31 minutes late. It's made up one minute of that delay now. Okay, as arriving now is going to be the 1639 Transpennine Express service going from Manchester Airport uh, to where's this one going? Echo Central. One eight five one two three is the front of this one. It's a six car, luckily. One eight five one one three uh, at the rear of this one. This one's luckily not too busy today, which is a miracle. We'll catch up on the minute the parts is currently running about a minute late now. Okay, the parting out now is going to be the 1644 cross country service going from Edinburgh to Bristol Temple Meads after sitting here for approximately eight minutes. This one is going to be led by 220002, that's a much easier worth saying it. 220002. It's going to be 221136. That's one of the four car 220s. 221, sorry. It's a four car 221s, but there are no five car 220s.
Not sure why there are four car 221s actually. Maybe cross country are getting a bit tight with their money at the time. Or Alstom were getting a bit tight with their money at the time, maybe. Well, they're made by Alstom. No, they're not made by Bombardier. I just, I just associate Alstom with bad trains, but no, they're made by Bombardier. Went back when Bombardier aren't. Here go the 155s. This is two Romeo G3, which is 155341, heading back to Bridlington via Hull. <laughs> given that they're absolute all, oh, you can just hear them. This has got an incredibly long series of calling points. This one, this calls at Church, Fenton, Sherburn, and Elmet, Selby, Wrestle, Halden, Gilberdike, Brough, Hull, Cottingham, Beverley, uh, Hutton, Cranswick, Driffield, Naverton, and Bridlington, taking almost exactly two hours to get there. Uh, meanwhile, you could drive 40 minutes up the road and you'd be in Bridlington. Okay, we've got another 155 coming in now. <laughs> this one is coming in from Bridlington. All the 155 seems to be on the um, Bridlington to York services today. There's two Romeo 92 coming into one of these platforms this time, and it is operated by 155345. Not very busy at all, this one. There's a question for you down in the comments below. Which units are the uh, 155s made from? Two units have been put together to make this Colossus 155. Um, or all 155s are made of two uh, different, uh, of the same type of unit. So which units were the Class 155s originally? This Transpennine Express service has been uh, sitting around here doing dead time for quite a bit. As, as, in fact, as I say, it's locked its doors. This is the 1639 service to Redcar Central, which is now delayed by about nine minutes. Taking its time as it heads out the station for its next stop at Thursk. No, in the north everywhere, all the, the delays are um, so infrequent. I feel because <laughs> I'm from um, London. Um, all the trains in London are like even three minutes is a bad delay. But up here, you can have trains there by 5, 6, 10, 20 minutes and no one <laughs> really complains. Okay, I was arriving and now is going to be the 1654 LNER service going from London King's Cross to Edinburgh. This service has come direct here from London King's Cross. 800-101. I was on this one earlier. Indeed. Indeed. LNL service. Going from London King's Cross to Edinburgh. Please don't block our view of the platform. Thank you. Uh, at least we have some view of the platforms. <laughs> the other platforms. Okay, let's see what turns up next. Well, and your service is coming bang on time. Okay, this time with the doors closed, properly locked, <laughs> it's going to be the 1554 LNER service going from London King's Cross to Edinburgh, calling next at Darlington. Uh, my train back to Durham has just been cancelled. Um, <laughs> thank you for telling me that. Um, 
uh, I was also arriving in. Uh, it's going to be a northern service uh, terminating in from Leeds, operated by Class 195. I think this is 0016 again. Yeah, indeed it is 016. We still have one more surprise for you. Hang on in there. The surprise is quite literally around the corner. Can you hear that? Can you see that? It's a class 68, which is just put its um, brakes on, the train brakes on. Um, it is 68028, Lord President, along with a rake of uh, Mark 5s going from Manchester Airport, sorry, Manchester Piccadilly to Scarborough. What a brilliant way to finish off the day. And this will be the final train of the day. Yep, going from Manchester Piccadilly to Scarborough. That is trailing set number TP0. Hang on, that can't be right because 033 was set TP01, so neither of those can be um, set TP01. I think the system might be a bit broken. Anyway, thank you very, very, very much for watching this video. I really do hope you've enjoyed. If you did, then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content for some reason. Uh, I'm going to find, <laughs> I'm going to find a train back home, uh, and I will see you next time. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from York. As the sun begins to set, goodbye from York Railcam as well. Goodbye York Railcam. See you next time.